what's up people today i want to come to you because of a because of some information that we came across yesterday in regarding to the freedom of information act the thing that was amazing to me was something as i read into another portion of what i discussed is the usc title 5 section 552 which is the freedom of information act but within that act this discussion is going to be for my First Amendment auditors or somebody that's thinking about government accountability and doing any type of auditing for that. So here we go. Okay, what we're dealing with is the Open Government Act of 2007. First case I'm going to start off with is Bar B. Mateo. 360 U.S. 564-1959. The effective functioning of a free government like ours depends largely on the force of an informed public opinion. This calls for the widest possible understanding of the quality of government service rendered by all elective, appointed public officials or employees. Basically, what this boils down to is, like you see, contractors. Also, employees such as the post office. They all have a duty in regards of being open to the public and public service. Now, as we go into USC, Title V, Section 552A, 4A2. We go into understanding a representative of the news media means. Basically, a person or entity that gathers information of potential interest to a segment of the public uses its editorial skills to turn the raw materials into a distinct work and distributes that work to an audience. Now, I'm going to go the term of news, flat out, information that is about current events or would be a current interest to the public. Now, the one thing that makes the YouTube or whatever First Amendment auditors their news, for the most part, is because they make their products available for purchase or subscription buy or free distribution to the general public because they have a platform because even a vlog is a platform so understanding distribution means making available that's it it doesn't mean anything else other than making something available whether it's knowledge whether it's video whether it's any whatever it is you're making it available to the general public whether you're charging a fee or whether it's free to them and you're gaining the fee from it. whatever it is, it's distribution. And that makes you news if you are doing a First Amendment audit. As well as, there are a lot of times they're getting confronted. Where are your credentials? Here is the greatest part about being news. As a person that as that is a news broadcaster, you don't have to work for anybody. You can be what they call freelance. And a freelance journalist shall be regarded as working for a news media entity if the journalist can demonstrate a solid basis for expecting publication through that entity, whether or not the journalist is actually employed by the entity. The entity itself is YouTube. The entity itself is Daily Motion, Vimeo, whatever the platform they're using. It could be um, WordPress. Whatever the platform is, that is where it goes. Because a lot of the police officers use the words cop block or cop watch. It's a platform. You don't have to get employment from it. All it means is you have a means of distribution, which makes you an, a news employee or a news distributor, whether they like it or not. Now, as the refresher to close out today, the Open Government Act of 2007, which was actually the Freedom of Information Act that was signed into law on July 4th, 1966, 
goes back to Bar B. Mateo, 306 U.S. 564-1959. Basically letting you know that you are allowed to ask for information and have expectation from our government officials to be accountable to you. And you have a right to assume that simply because that is their duty. And you also have another one, which is United States Department of State v. Ray, 502 U.S. 164, 1991, is a presumption that applies to all governed by the Act. Disclosure, not secrecy, is the dominant objective of the Act. Now, understanding that even with the Department of Air Force v. Rose, in practice, the Freedom of Information Act has not always lived up to the ideals of the Act. And therefore, it has been codified because just like I stated in Howlett v. Rose, uh, the federal code, excuse me, is what governs all of this country because it's a part of the supreme law. It is what law is based on. So, again, federal codes and supreme court decisions are the supreme law of the land. Howlett v. Rose. And understand the Freedom of Information Act is codified. Under USC Title V, Section 552. Nothing more, nothing less. And as a news broadcaster or whatever, or a journalist, you can be freelance. You do not have to have credentials to do anything. And whenever they are asking, that is all it is. You are freelance. And just because you have a platform, no matter what it is, if it's um, YouTube, WordPress, whatever, that is your platform. That makes you news. People watch it. And at the end of the day, that is part of our freedom. So, get it, understand it, apply it, and let's keep moving forward. And if they break the law, it is not your job to do anything other than assert your rights. So, until next time, protect yourself, keep pushing.